Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to dive deep into Apple Business Connect, Apple's latest tool for enhancing your business presence on Apple Maps. Whether you're a single location shop or a multi-location enterprise, this tutorial will guide you through every step to leverage this powerful feature and get your business listed on Apple Maps. All right, before we begin creating our Apple Maps listing, there's gonna be three things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a DUNS, which I'll call DUNS, moving forward to Dun & Bradstreet number, which is uh, we'll get into in just a second here. Uh, you're gonna need an Apple ID for your organization and also a, an email address. We're gonna get started with the DUNS number because this is something that a lot of business owners don't know about. So um, go ahead and search for Dun & Bradstreet number, and you're gonna pop up a page that's gonna look like this. And there's three options. The first option you're gonna to wanna to take is you're gonna to wanna to scroll down the page. They're gonna to try to get you to purchase the uh, expedited version, but before you do that, scroll down to the bottom and click search for your company. Go ahead and type your company name in or variations of your company name, so that way you can see if you already have a Dun & Bradstreet number. The other way is to go ahead and get a free one. Now, uh, this is gonna take longer, obviously, so if you want an expedited one, you can go ahead and do so, but if you don't, I'm gonna walk you through the process here in just a minute. For those that don't know, a Dun & Bradstreet number is basically a credit profile about your business. Sometimes this stuff gets created through banks and other various uh, organizational paperwork that you fill out, but if it does not or is not filled out, you will need to follow these steps. So on this page that we clicked on to get a free Dun's number, we're gonna go, how do I get a Dun's number? Click Learn More. That's gonna take us to how to get it. And you're gonna see we got a couple options here. And as you can see here, so the, the difference, if, if you really wanna get your Apple Maps listing live and you don't have your Dunn's number, the expedited process will get it to you within eight business days. The regular version will take up to 30 days to get to you. So next step, you have to scroll down just past that to the I have a US-based business. If you are in the US, if you're not, obviously, um, you may need to call. Go ahead and click, I have a US-based business. You're gonna start typing in your information here. Now, I've already went ahead and did the setup for this, so obviously, if you don't have this, put your, your information in. You can see I already have one, but if not, you're gonna to need to add a few pieces of information. Once you're done filling out your DUNS number and you get that, you're gonna to need to save that, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to Apple Business Connect, Apple Maps, and you're gonna go ahead and, one, if you have an Apple ID for your business, use that. If not, you're gonna start, you click Get Started. Again, if you don't have an Apple ID, you're gonna go ahead and create yours now, and you're gonna fill out your information here. Make sure this is information for your business, and make sure you save this. Apple is very particular. If you don't save your information or you don't save your passwords and things like that, it's very difficult to get back in. I do wanna point out one thing as I have seen this come up as an issue. Make sure the phone number that you enter, if you wanna verify it with text message, can get text messages. So if you have a landline phone number for your business, make sure text messages come, can come through. Otherwise, you're gonna to wanna to verify this with phone call. All right, so the next step is they're gonna send you a code. Oops, helps if I entered in right. You're gonna go ahead and verify your email address and then they're gonna go ahead and send, I decided a text message code. So I'm gonna get a text message to my phone. Go ahead and enter that code. Hit continue. You're gonna go ahead and agree to the terms. And this is where you get to start creating your business profile. So for most of you watching this video, small business is going to be your choice. If for some reason you're watching this video and you have a franchise or work with a larger organization, you may choose enterprise. And then of course, this is gonna be partners like Yext, Soshi, Uberall, things like that. So. Um, most of you will choose this option here. Now this next part is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can go ahead and search and see if your business name is on here. And you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and just select a business here. And you're gonna just have to confirm your details. If for some reason the map pin is not correct, you can enter your actual geo coordinates, which is kind of a neat feature. Once you go ahead and confirm your details, go ahead and hit next. Now we're gonna put some information about your business, including the category. Not as many categories on Apple Maps as there are on Google My Business. So for like HVAC contractor, you're gonna to wanna to choose that. 
plumbing is going to be plumbing service. They, I don't know if they have other categories yet. I don't have a full list. I will try to get that list and drop it in the link below. But most of you guys will probably choose plumbing service. And then if you are an electrician, electric and lighting service. So it's a little different than Google Maps. So just keep that in mind. Go ahead and add your website URL here. Hit next. Now you're gonna to wanna to add your company details. It's important that you get your legal company name right because if you have a DBA, make sure you put the legal company name, the company that is on all of your actual legal documentation. Fill out everything and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is that, you see how that D-U-N-S number comes up again? You're gonna to wanna to add that here. Now if you decided to get to Apple Business Connect without doing the D-U-N-S number, there is a link right here to go ahead and get a DONS number. It's gonna take you right back to where we were before. Once you have that information in, you're gonna go ahead and hit next. And this is the very, very last step. And this is why you wanna make sure that the phone number you entered is, the, is a number that can actually get a phone call. Um, otherwise, you need to do a document review, which can take a while. So we're gonna do both here. We're gonna start with document review because this is the harder of the two and I wanna show you what documents you may need. So you're gonna want either a business license, a utility bill, something like that that's gonna show your actual physical location. So something that you need to take into consideration is if you are a service area business, or at least what's considered a service area business on Google Maps, you are not going to be able to get an Apple Maps listing. And just to reiterate, a service area business listing is a listing that uses your house because you are gonna to need to show that you have a utility bill and it's gonna to wanna to have a physical commercial address. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna go ahead and upload your documents here um, and then it takes about five days for review. So obviously you need to make sure that document matches whatever address and things that you gave. If it does not match, you need to make sure, you need to try to get some stuff that matches here, otherwise you're not gonna get approved. I'm gonna go ahead and do phone call, request verification call, So you can see that it's an automated call. It looks like a Chicago address just to make sure you don't ignore the call. And then you can see verified, you're gonna hit done. And this takes you to where you can actually manage your Apple Maps listing. This is gonna be a completely separate video that I'm gonna do for you, but you can actually manage your entire listing. All right, and that is the complete guide to setting up and optimizing your Apple Business Connect accounts. So you, account so you can get your business listed on Apple Maps. If this video was valuable for you, go ahead and subscribe. So for future updates, we're gonna do a lot more on Apple Maps here in the very near future. So please subscribe so that way you can stay connected. Until next time, be relentless.